Hello, friends. This is Fall for Jesus. The host is the Grace Life DIY and Buckeye Girls Reason Things. Guest host is Priceless Pearl Lifestyle. And co-hosts are Decorating with Jazzy Green, Pretty DIY, The Robin's Nest by Terry, and Deborah Cabasa's Home Living. Favorite scripture, the heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Proverbs 16, 9. Okay, next up, we're going to do this acorn. I painted the top with a medium brown and the bottom part of the acorn with a tan. And let's see. First off, I think we will paint the dimension, the diagonal lines. You know how it has kind of a diamond shape up there? Let's do that first. Totally changed my mind from when I started. So we're just going to a little bit of yellow on the side of our brush, stroke it in. Just diagonal lines. Then we have to let these dry, and then we'll be able to go in the other direction. I'm gonna use a medium brown to shade up the tan part. And I really, you could easily just put like, happy fall or some kind of saying in here. I want it more to be like a, I saw a graphic with a nut house. So that's what I'm going to put on this one. But if you didn't want to have to do all the detail, you could easily just put the nut house, hello fall, welcome. Because you could enlarge this as well, make it into more of a door hanger size. You could also put... Um, a little face in there. We're going to go with, oops. See if I can work with that hair not getting in my way. Let's make a little nut house. So all we have to do is put in doors and windows. Um, put that, that little hair has got to come off of there. Okay. Let's put some windows that are, I don't want square ones. Let's put arch windows in here. Just get them both put in. You can go back and try to get them about the same size. We're going to be shading around these, so there's not going to be that much difference. Sometimes I like to look at it from upside down, kind of see it a little bit better. Ah, 
on, then we'll write net house up on top. That'll be good. All right. So now I'm going to go in the other direction. Put enough paint on my brush here. Starts looking like a waffle cone. But that's okay. We're going to put a little bit of darker umber up here on the cap. We're going to dry this a little bit while I get my white ready. Actually, I think I'll use more of a tan and shade these up. So I've got a little bit of tan on the edge of my brush. I'm just going to go down like this. Right down my door, across the top. Then I want to shade around each of those pieces. I've got a little bit of burnt umber on my brush. That is way too wet. Try that. You can also use a napkin. It's why I'm always covered in paint. I didn't have access to one real quick. All right. Well, Not get that. I think it's too wet. So grab a napkin, just wipe it right off, make sure you dry it because otherwise your paint is going to spread. These are Walmart brushes, they're okay, but they're not, they're notorious for hanging on to extra water. Starting to look like a face, isn't it? I'm going to get around this door as well. to not mess it too much inside of those colors so that you don't blur your lines and make it look just dirty. You just want a shaded look. All right, we got that done. Let's also shade up on top of the cap. Ah, well, there you go for a Walmart brush be buying any more of those. I was just saying that I could work with them, but apparently I haven't had a Walmart brush for a long time. Let's go back to a master's touch. Okay, we shaded that, but I wanted a little bit darker, so I'm going to go in with some black. I'm going to go right up underneath that little cap that you got there. Make sure that I have a solid shade line there. I don't want any <clears throat> light color popping out of there. All right, then all we need to do is go back with our liner brush. And we're going to just add in and use my tan again. I'm, I'm happy with that. You could use white if you wanted. Got too much 
water on my brush again. And then let it dry before I do anything to it. Detail lines here. And let's take our green that we used on the leaf. And we're just going to make it look like some hedges down here on the walkway. up a little bit of white and we're going to continue that right here under the windows it looks like it's got little little window boxes we could Put a brown heart right there. All right, I like that. I'm going to take some white. I, you know what? I don't think I'm in right in that house on there. I think I'm going to leave that no wording on there because you're going to have six of these put together. You can put some little circles. little rounds in a circle and then we can have little flowers. This can be like a flower box. And these don't have to be very, they don't have to be perfect at all. And then let's grab a little bit of yellow and set a dot right in them. Okay, we got a little nut house. Isn't that adorable? All these pieces came from Hobby Lobby. Thanks for watching everyone.